Let's walk around this 1976 Cadillac Eldorado convertible. This is um, the third one in this color combination I've had in the last couple years. Really nice car. This one's about a 40,000 mile original car. I've had them as low as 20,000. And uh, they're all uh, pretty nice cars. Had some good ones, some bad ones. This is a pretty good combination with the uh, black and white interior. Looking at different things like the rubber uh, bumper inserts, make sure that they're still in pretty decent shape and not all beat up, and the little white insert piping is there. Looking at uh, these, uh, the plastic fender extensions, they're in great shape because they're reproductions. And uh, whoever did this did a really nice job of installing the correct trim on the bottom. Many of these cars I see that have these replaced, they cheat and they don't put these on or they'll glue them on, hang them loose, different things like that. This one looks pretty good. Let's see if I can get my hands free to do this here. Again, I look at all the door jams, the rubber, weather strip, bottoms of doors, all underneath the car. See how everything looks here. Let me go inside and look inside the, the door jam area. Check that out. Um, the leather, of course. This car has a soft boot here. Uh, does not have a hard boot, one of the parade boots, what they, the guys call them. Top works great. Windows work. Everything goes up and down. The doors close like they're supposed to. These are heavy doors, so the door hinge pins wear out. You gotta watch that, see if the doors are sagging. They're pretty good on this car. Um, here's one thing that I'd like to see the reproduction aftermarket guys come up with. These uh, aftermarket um, inserts all come with this um, kind of cheesy trim. The original Cadillac trim that's on here is a very fine thin piece that fits on a thin piece of the extension. I don't know that anybody does that that's doing the reproductions. Sure be nice to have some really nice reproductions for that. Um, Okay, inside the trunk, <laughs> yeah, this car has a big stereo sound system with the, the booster and all that stuff, so uh, I guess you could uh, put sound in the, one of the biggest stadiums in the world with the, these kind of stadium speakers. I don't get it. I can't hear anymore because when I was younger, I listened to the regular little old 8-inch speaker or 6-inch speaker in the car and turn it up like crazy. I can't hear it now. I can't imagine what the youth of today is going to be able to do for hearing it when they get up in age a little bit. So, but anyway, I guess that's what it is. Younger guy had the had this car last, so they're, I guess younger guys, I know guys that are in their 50s that still got to have big speakers and big sound. So, now here's one of the little things that happens with the inserts. You put these aftermarket inserts on here and, and you get a little bit of a, a fit mismatch problem. You see the gap here? It's not actually um, a problem with the car, it's a problem with the insert. See how the insert doesn't really fit quite well? It's too narrow in here. So if the insert was proper, properly uh, gapped so it was over here and the gap on the whole car would be really nice. So it's just uh, little quirks that uh, come about when you replace those.
inserts on these early um, 70s Cadillacs and well GM cars in general so okay looking at the car all the other stuff I and mean, look at this the rubber is all really nice and soft going along the windows nice glass all original stuff the cars had uh, these armrests have been redone and you see the the seam where somebody's done that but they did a really nice job looks pretty good and the inside there looks good Now, it says 42,575 miles, and that's what I was told. The car looks pretty nice, and that could be original. Yeah, there's some things that have been cleaned up, and yes, it's been repainted, but um, uh, looking real close at the car, it's very well cared for. So let's take it for the usual ride. At night I've checked the um, uh, fiber optic lights in the fenders and in the uh, above the back seat. Those out there on the um, little scoop like things, those are uh, there's fiber optics going there and you see it at night. It'll tell you if you've got your headlights on It'll tell you your parking lights and turn signals as well. And there's one in the uh, Above the back seat that Gives you an indication that you've got tail lights and brake lights There's a little a little uh, box like things sticking up over the back seat that uh, has the fiber optic in it I've worked on some of these cars that the fiber optics, uh, the lights are not working and the owner complains, fix the, fix my lights or replace the bulbs. Well, there's no bulbs. It's a fiber optic cord. And what I've seen happen is people think that it's a wire or something else and they they cut it when they work on the car and then they splice it back together. Well, that doesn't work. You can't cut those things. and treat them as a, as a wire or a rope or something, it, it doesn't work. So um, this one, in checking it out, all of those are working on the car. So here we go, a 76 Cadillac Eldorado convertible, 42,000 miles uh, reported, yeah, probably, probably correct. And uh, nice little test drive, I hope you liked it, thanks for watching.